Broccoli is packed with so many nutrients and disease-fighting compounds that it's almost a crime it's gotten a bad rap. No one knows that better than Dr. Alan Brown with the NC State University Plants for Human Health Institute. I'm in Dr. Brown's lab at the North Carolina Research Campus to talk about his research on this superfood. Hi, Dr. Brown. Tell me about your research with this green wonder. Understand that broccoli has compounds to help protect against cancer. It does. Uh, cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, collards, they have a class of compounds known as glucosinolates that are unique to cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli has a compound called sulforaphan, which is part of this class, but it's almost unique to, to broccoli. Um, and what it does is it enhances the body's own defensive system against carcinogens. So it, it's like a cleanup system almost. Oh, I see. In addition to cancer, what other diseases does broccoli help protect against? Broccoli is an extremely rich source of lutein, and lutein, of course, has a great impact on macular degeneration. So people have problems with age-related vision issues. Mm -hmm. Broccoli is a wonderful. In addition to that, there are other compounds that may have impacts on heart disease, on reducing cholesterol levels. Um, all things considered, broccoli is really a, a wonder vegetable. Wow, it sounds like it's really a superfood. Um, so what is the goal of your work here at the research campus? Well, what we find out is that there's a great deal of variability in these compounds in the broccoli that you purchase at the grocery store. So what we want to do is try to concentrate all of these compounds into one particular variety so that when you go to the grocery store and you purchase it, you're getting all that you can get from, from the broccoli that you're buying. Wow, so we'll know that that purchase of broccoli every time is really just as packed with these nutrients and disease fighting compounds that we can find anywhere. Exactly. exactly. Wow. And you know, it's important for folks to remember that we don't always get enough fruits and vegetables. You know, half of sure. our plate does need to be covered sure. every time with fruits and vegetables. And um, this broccoli is a delicious way to do that too, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is, certainly is. Now, in addition to broccoli, what other research do you have underway? Well, we're also beginning to work with cabbage now, too. Uh, cabbage is an important crop here in North Carolina. And North Carolina is one of the, uh, the larger producers of cabbage in the country. It has a great tradition of cabbage, and we're looking forward to uh, moving in that direction of trying to improve some of the health benefits of the cabbage that's grown here as well. Oh, this is some exciting research that's going on. Thank you for sharing well, with Well, thank me. you. Dr. Brown, can you mm -hmm. tell us what is the healthiest part of this broccoli? Well, actually, we, we find out that the, the compounds that have the, the greatest impact on health tend to be concentrated in the florets, the okay. floral tissue. Now, that's not to say that the, the rest of the broccoli doesn't have some benefits. Uh, the stalk contains things like fiber, which, of course, is great for your mm -hmm. diet, and it has lower levels than some of these compounds, but actually, you, you get the biggest bang for your buck out of the florets. Okay, great, but we can consume this and, and oh, get sure. some benefits there, too. That's actually the tastiest part to me. Tell me what some of your favorite ways to enjoy broccoli are. Well, I, I, I like to lightly steam broccoli. What, what we find out is that microwaving and severe cooking or long-term cooking of this in boiling water has a tendency to break down some of the compacts that compounds that has the most impact on it. So the less cooking, the better. Um, some people prefer it raw, and raw is probably the best way to go, but myself, I like a little, little steaming on there. But the green that I see in the water, I'm really losing some of the good you stuff. You are if losing I'm not some careful. of the good stuff, right? Okay. And the longer you cook it, the more you're going to lose. Okay. So uh, the general rule is as, as, as lightly cooked as you can. Great. Is, is, has the best and, and a little cheese sauce in here will be okay too. Oh, a little cheese sauce is great. A little ranch dressing. Oh. I mean, I mean, there's no need to be a fanatic about some of these things. Oh, that's I mean. sounding good. That's really beautiful. Now, this mm -hmm. is one of my favorite recipes. This uh -huh. recipe is actually on the producelady.org website. Wow. I believe we have some broccoli, cauliflower, raisins, sunflower seed. It smells wonderful. Light dressing. Isn't that delicious mm -hmm. looking? Mm -hmm. And you know, you could even substitute a chopped apple for the cauliflower wow. for some different taste. That would be great. Yes, those flavors all mixed together are really good. <laughs> we'll have to share that with you sure, too. I'd love that. And, and cauliflower, broccoli, all these good mm -hmm. vegetables are great snacks, aren't they? They're great for the kids. I mean, uh, if you want an alternative to some of the high sugar, high salt stuff, what a, what a great alternative that sure. is. Sure, and, and lots of kids, if they've got some ranch dressing, mm -hmm. they're going to be more likely to try these good vegetables, you, you aren't they? You can't go wrong with ranch dressing. No, you can't. You can't. Well, these are all some great ways to enjoy broccoli. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ready to try some of <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs>
the research projects that Dr. Brown and his colleagues are conducting here at the NC State University Plants for Human Health Institute will enhance the health protective value of food crops. The research has the potential to increase the economic value of North Carolina agriculture, the state's largest industry. You can learn more about the Institute's research and cooperative extension programs, including the Produce Lady, at this website. For more information on fruits and vegetables, including broccoli recipes, visit theproducelady.org.